Hello, everybody on YouTube, NFL YouTube prognosticators, and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back once again, giving you my Super Bowl 50 pick. Yep, my, um, the thing I was telling you all along, my, um, bet with Billy B is here. You can tell by the Broncos hat. Uh, yep. Real shame. Real shame. Real shame wearing this. Ugh, I look terrible in it. Well, Billy B, a bet's a bet, and here it is. Here's your Broncos hat I'm wearing. And I hope you you and the rest of the Bronco fans are happy with that. So, bet you, you and um, Dante are really happy about it. So, um, yeah. But a bet is a bet, so I'm here to pay it off, so... Here we go. Well, uh, my Super Bowl 50 pick. Well, how th those, how Denver and Carolina got here? Real simple. First off, with Denver. Mostly because of their defense. You know, if you would have told me if Peyton Manning had a powerful offense in this, going to this game, I would say you're crazy. But, um, well, the mostly main reason is because of the defense. You and most people say defense wins championships, which I sort of agree in this part. So, um, yeah. But mostly on Denver's defense, I believe, um, I think it's on Denver's defense is mostly on that, in that case scenario. But, you know, I'm not, because mostly Denver's defense was one of the top five in the, in the league. And that's the reason why they're here today. And of course, there's the story of Peyton Manning, who lost the starting role, and then he brought calls. Brock Oswald, and he um, then and he got hurt. Then Manning came in after Brock Oswald had a bad game. Came back and won that game, and to the playoffs they were starting Manning. And all the kaful of this quarterback controversy came to came here. So, yeah, and of course you got that big Peyton Manning story that if he wins a Super Bowl in this contract. If they win the Super Bowl, the contract will pay off. It would be worth it. And, of course, if Peyton Manning doesn't win the Super Bowl this year, the contract was a bust. And it would be the most disappointing contract of all time in the NFL. And, of course, Peyton Manning's known to choke in the big games like this and pretty much etc. So, but yeah, but still, Peyton Manning, congrats. Beating my New England Patriots. I'm still a Patriots fan at heart, you guys. I'm still a Patriots fan. Don't estimate me. But if I ever do this again, I don't know. But I tell you this, it's not going to be any team in the AFC East or the Colts. So, I'll tell you that one right now. I refuse to wear Jets, Dolphins, Bills, and a Colts hat. I refuse to do that. So, just so you know. But, that's moving on for, the, for Denver. But mostly, the main reason is because of Denver uh, defense. You may, you may say that the offense had a really good, strong game in the championship game, but the most in the playoffs, though, the offense didn't really bother to show up, like in the division game against Pittsburgh. So, you could say that the offense was kind of lacking a little bit. You can see Peyton Manning was going after that, but is, is this Peyton Manning's last game? Possibly, yes. Do you think um, he may go out as a champion? I have no idea. You're gonna have to wait till the um, after I talk about Carolina. Now going into Carolina, as I was saying before. Carolina, the reason why they're here, they're tough defense, and they some strong offense. Nobody talks about on defense. Talking about um, right, uh, defense. Luke uh, Coach Coachley on linebacker. Hmm. Thomas Davis linebacker, I think, and um, Colleen Short. And John Norman, defensive uh, tackle. So, you could tell me all those, you know, the reason why they're here. All of them are Pro Bowl, as I mentioned, and, of course, on the offensive side of the ball. Craig Olson, Jonathan Stewart, and um, Mike Tolbert, the fullback. All of them are Pro Bowlers that I just mentioned on Carolina. Those are the reason why Carolina's here. And, of course, Cam Newton had the weapons he needed. That's why Carolina's in the Super Bowl. And, of course, they're the first team, I believe, are a 15-1 team in, since the 85 Bears to reach the Super Bowl 
But and of course, the first team that gone on uh, 15 wins or more to reach the Super Bowl was my New England Patriots back in 2007. So the interesting stuff right there. So and the reason being is um because their high power offense and their big on uh, their big defense. And all in all of that, I think they're a big, uh, much bigger threat than the for. The, for the Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks are in 2013. Just saying. But if you compare the 2015 Carolina defense and the 2013 um, Seattle Seahawks, you can see a, the similarities to that. And they're the reason why Carolina see them, mostly because of their defense. They had a strong, uh, tough defense. That's why Carolina see it. That's why, and they have a strong, powerful offense. That's why... Um, Another reason why Carolina's here, you can see what they did in both um, playoff games. First half in the uh, game against Seattle, but before they cho- almost choked away from the game. And of course, you can see what they did to Arizona the other day. Of course, you may argue that Cam Newton should have done this a little while ago, which possibly he should have. And of course, I, people would argue maybe the MVP, which nobody would like it, which I have no problem with Cam Newton being the MVP this year. I think he totally well deserves it. After what he did. And a lot of people say Carolina said they weren't going to do it. Of course, I was one of them and for the Seahawks game because I thought Seattle was hot in the right time. Which, in my case, I was an Arizona believer in this one. And, of course, that didn't work out that way. So, But they proved me wrong, of course. And that's why Carolina's here today. They're proving people wrong. So you have two great storylines. Peyton Manning going off to the sunset. Come out as a Super Bowl winner. Similar like John Elway did then in Super Bowl 32. And of course you have the high rising Carolina Panthers and Cam Newton and the high power offense that they can't do it. But now, now we're in the mix of the two number ones in the Super Bowl which is the third year in a row for that. And of course you got these on two as a Number one offense, no, basically a top three offense, basically a top five defense in the Carolina and a top five defense for um, Denver. So this is going to be an interesting combo with all these things. How do you think I'm going to roll this over? Who do I think who's going to get the last laugh on this one? I believe it's Carolina. Yes. I like Carolina winning this game, but it's not going to be a blowout. I don't think it's going to be a... Um, a, um, you know, it's going to be, a, excuse me, um, I believe it's not going to be a blowout. I think it's going to be a um, tight, low-scoring game, and it can go right down to the wire. But normally, I don't like to pick scores, but this one I'm going to do. And the score is going to be Carolina 24, Denver 17. That is going to be my pick on this one. The reason being I'm saying Carolina, if Peyton Manning was a little younger days, possibly this would be... That they can win this game, but Peyton Manning is not uh, not the same guy anymore. Even, but if he comes out a winner, it's gonna be all fine with me. It's gonna, I have no issues with that. But I don't know if he was a little bit younger, similar around that age when he won the Super Bowl against Chicago in Super Bowl Forty One, that I possibly would have gone with Denver at that point. But I'm not because Peyton Manning's arms going. You could see. In the pre- previous playoff games, like in the division series against Pittsburgh and against uh, my New England Patriots in the championship game, they he, Peyton Manning struggled in that game, and so did um, Tom Brady in that one. So I'm not in that. So um, that's the reason why I'm gonna pick um, Seattle to win this game by a touchdown. So um, that's gonna be my Super Bowl pick on that. I'll be back for the following conclusion after the Super Bowl. And um, we'll go from there and um, see what happens from there. Until then, I'm Andrew Warren, signing off, and I hope you have a good day and night.